The sights on it are just factory, which is pretty lame. The, the uh, magazine release button here is a lot uh, chunkier than on my last Glock, and I really, really like that. So the slide release is ambidextrous on both sides. The safety is ambidextrous on both sides. The Nintendo Zapper Ruger LCP, my Wolverine LCP2. This is a variant of the gun that John Wick used in John Wick 1. He used a P30L, so it's a little bit longer. But you can see the 38 Special along the top, and it looks like it did almost as much damage as the 38 Special, even though the bullet's only about half the size. Shoot her! Yes! For science. Ho <laughs> <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're back out on the range today with an experiment that I'm very much looking forward to. This is an old uh, bulletproof vest of Martin's. It's a class 3A. This is basically the vest that all of us wear at work. And all of us have been curious just how well this vest will function. So now that Martin doesn't need this vest anymore, uh, we're going to uh, shoot it and see how well it holds up. Would this thing actually save our lives? So we've got the vest uh, sectioned into, uh, into four sections here. And we're going to be shooting one section with a 380, one section with a 9, one section with a 38 Special, and one section with a 357. And uh, we're just going to see uh, just how well this thing will hold up. We're going to shoot it at five yards which is probably around where we'd be uh, dealing with an actual gunfight scenario. So, we're really looking forward to this. We will see how it goes. Green that it's, that it's filming. Okay, ready? Okay, so, step one of the test, we're gonna be shooting with a 380. This is my beloved uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 380EZ that I really, really like. I'm gonna be putting uh, two bullets into the vest in the upper left hand corner of that vest and we're going to be at about five yards so uh, we'll go ahead and shoot those two holes into it and then we'll check the vest and see what we got well it fell right off the bat that's not cool Five yards <laughs> that's a pretty nice grouping and you can feel in the vest that there is a bit of a lump there but clearly it did not go through so yeah from uh, at five yards with a 380 this thing would save your life on to the next round okay step two we're gonna be shooting with a nine millimeter in the upper right corner of the vest Two rounds again at five yards. One thing I forgot to mention uh, when I was shooting the 380 rounds is we're shooting all full metal jackets with these. We're not going to be shooting any hollow points because those has less penetrating power and we're looking to see the uh, the penetrating resistance of the vest. So we're going to be shooting full metal jackets all the way around. So here we go. Uh, two nine millimeter rounds in the upper right corner of the vest at five yards. See what we got. Oh, okay, we got some penetration on that one. Oh, yeah, we're through. I don't know if the bullet actually went through or not, but we've definitely got a hole here. Yeah, I think it went through. However, I do think that uh, this would be a non-lethal penetration. What do you guys think? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it definitely I mean, ruined the day. Can you feel the round in there? 
it's got the puffy feeling like the other one had. Oh, I can I can feel one round right if there. You can feel the round then. Yeah, you so know. we've at least got still one round in. I don't the know. I think that been, went through. Oh, nope. I think that went through. Look at the way the thread comes all the way out, you know? Mm -hmm. I think there is a chance that this one went through. I think that went through. That's what I'm thinking. I think that'll ruin your day. Yeah, I think that's a dead, dead person right there. Well, it also depends on, you know, how much it would have actually gone into your body after yeah. it went through this. I mean, maybe it slows it down, but if we're just testing yeah. just penetration, you know. Maybe you put it on. But yeah, that's a little concerning, and that's only 9 millimeter. We haven't even tried the other two yet. Well, let's see what we got. All right, step three of this test, we're shooting some 38 special rounds. I'll be shooting them into the uh, bottom left section of the vest there. And I'm gonna be shooting these with Nix Ruger GP100. So this thing's a beast. So let's see what happens here. 38 specials at five yards. I was able to hit these again very close together and we've got no penetration in the vest even though the bullets are like right next to each other so maybe you know this area up here was just a a slightly compromised area but yeah that's interesting that the 9 went through and the, and the uh, 38 special did not well what else is interesting is that the 9 the, the nines, they're not even that close to each other. Yeah. You know, these are real close to each other. These are real close to each yeah, other. Yeah, you'd think that would it's, raise it's the odds of one of these That's getting through. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's interesting that it, it went through on this side with the one nine round. That's just interesting to me. I don't know. It's an old plate. Like, like, yeah, you know, it is It is an older five vest, years so old. maybe just this one area wasn't quite as solid as the rest of it. Kind of what I'm wondering. Because they say sweat affects you. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to trade these out every like three to five years. Three to five years, yeah. exactly. Okay, okay. step four. We've got some uh, 357 Magnum rounds here. These are going to be hollow points because we didn't have any full metal jacket 357s. So I'm going to shoot these in the bottom right corner of the vest, also with the GP100, and we will see what happens. cylinder rotates in the opposite yeah, direction. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought you had it going okay. the wrong way. Yeah, there. I'm used to my uh, six shooter where the, ro the cylinder rotates the other the way. way. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Wow, I hit those like right next to each other. Yeah, nice job, boys. Okay, so we've got the penetration here in the front. And even though we got a huge lump in the back, holy shit. We got nothing. <laughs> you got some broken so, ribs there. That's oh, pretty yeah. sweet. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Martin had suggested that we try shooting the nine one more time because this may have just been a slight uh, weak spot in the vest. It is old. So we're gonna set up the vest one more time. And I'm going to shoot two more uh, nine millimeter rounds into it and we'll see what we get. Go. Rolling. Okay, I'm going to put two more uh, full metal jacket nine millimeters, and this time I'm going to put them into the center of the vest and see what we get. It stopped everything we've thrown at it so far except for one nine millimeter round, and I think that might have just been a weak spot in the vest. So we're going to put a couple more rounds into it and see what we get here. We're still at five yards. Here we go. fell again. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, I was able to shoot them right next to each other. And I'm talking right next to each other. Nice. 
and we have no penetration. There's a huge lump right there, but no penetration. So I'm guessing what we have here is just a spot in the vest that had been compromised because it's an old vest. So that uh, makes me feel pretty good that we're wearing these at work because it'll stop just about anything out there based on this test. And this is an old vest, so a new one would stop it even better. So yeah, pretty happy with those test results so far. So now we're gonna have Martin whip out the boomstick and he's gonna shoot it a couple more times and we'll see what happens. Here we go. What okay, kind of barrels in that final place? step of this test. Uh, Martin's whipped out the boomstick and he's gonna put three slugs into the vest. And we're gonna see if we get any penetrating power at all. Uh, my guess is gonna be because it's, what do you, what are, you are you firing buckshot, Martin? No, these are slugs. Okay, so there is a chance that it could go through then, do you think? Uh, it's, it should. I okay. Think it, I think it will. Um, just to be contrarian, I think that it won't. Just based on our, okay. our uh, experiments so far. I but hope uh, it won't. Yeah, we'll see. We're still at five yards, so I mean, that's practically point blank range with a big freaking shotgun. So, <laughs> yeah. we'll see what happens. Go for it. You have to stand it back up. I got the camera. <laughs> Looks like you kind of uh, desecrated our plywood too, though. <laughs> yeah, it's all stuck to it now. <laughs> Great job. All right, shot number two. We're going to lower right. <laughs> There's one more in I'm glad we're just about done because standing that thing up constantly is kind of a pain. Uh, yeah. Let's see where we're at, Wes. Uh, I'm, I'm real curious. Look at the goddamn hole. Whoa, you got it a huge in. hole right there. Yeah, motherfucker, it's a slug. <laughs> There's the other one. Did put you go finger, through? Put your finger in the hole. Giggity. <laughs> hey, Wes. Oh my, oh my oh holy God. cow, it held it. Oh, it caught it. <laughs> wow. It caught I don't one. believe it. <laughs> that one looks like it definitely that went through. That guy went right through, but it caught the second. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. so it's, I think it's probably going to depend on where exactly the vest gets I hit. don't believe it caught that slug. Unbelievable. Bananas. So at five yards with a shotgun, this you vest would still the, save your life. Is that the second shot or that's the first the second shot? shot. So the first shot, so we know it's been compromised yeah. via no uh, doubt. slug, but it, it goes through. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, you're dead. Wow. Wow. That's, I can't believe that's it center. ate that one. Let's get one more in yeah. there. I think get one more in there. Jeez. This has definitely been an eye opener for sure. I'm feeling a lot better about wearing these vests at work. Yeah, everybody wearing the exact same vest at work, for sure. Yeah, let's just get that piece right there. Good call. Want to shoot it? No, you shoot. God damn. Let's see what's going on. You shoot it in the top? Uh, bottom left. Which it is caught the top it. Now. I think it caught it again. Oh. <laughs> come here, come here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I honestly think it might have caught it. I think, he, oh no, 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 no. That came out. That came out. I thought it was in there for a second. That definitely, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, you have best inside yeah. your body. Yeah. Still, there's also the question of how much penetration power does it have after it's made it through. It's hard to tell when it looks like this as opposed to that <laughs> yeah. for the middle hole that you put in it. Yeah, that cool. one clearly this went one, clean through. This one, not so much. You can see the fucking paper in there. I mean, this went all the way through. You know, you can. That's the tag yeah. come out the other side. But man, that one is. Look at that. Look at that. That's gonna be in your body, though. I think this yeah. is for sure at least like inside of you. Yeah. Along with. A lot. Of I still think there's a good chance that a person could live from that, though. I think you could maybe live. I mean, I don't know. I got. That's on the wraparound side too yeah. of the vest. So that's like. That's like right there. You want to try a center shot up here? I got more. Look. Look. I mean, this one. Yeah. <laughs> that one's that's definitely fine. a kill that's, shot. That's, that's yeah. dead. That's dead right there. 
for sure. I'm like, I'm kind of with him on this. I don't know if this goes all the way into your Let's body. It's crazy. You want to shoot one more in like the upper left section yeah. or? Where the 380 was? Where it's probably the least damaged. Okay, we'll take one more shot here. All right, one more shot in the upper left of the vest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you think it's compromised? I think, I think there's a slight chance that we're looking at the vest being compromised at this point. Wow. 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 Oh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh man, it took the liner out with it. Holy it <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Well, any way you slice it, I would call this a very eye-opening experiment. Yeah. Uh, I am overall very, very impressed with the way the vest was able to perform, especially an older vest that, you know, probably isn't going to be quite as good as something brand new off the shelf. He said this is five years old, so there's no yeah. warranty on this anymore. Yeah. This is totally, like, above and beyond, yeah. you know, what's expected. But very, very impressive. I mean... Yeah. I, I would think that just about anything that a thug brings to work is going to save your life with that vest on. Unless they have an AR. <laughs> Which is the only thing we weren't able to test today. But I wouldn't think that uh, we even need to worry about testing that. I don't even think they'll go through. So yeah, there you have it folks. 3A vest. Uh, pretty happy with it.